Frost Tube. It's Lancashire Stitcher Lynn here again with part two of my Whip Parade. Um, I'm a bit more organised today than I was yesterday. Um, today's the 2nd of January, Tuesday. It's now about 9am. Not got my watch on. I think it's about 9am. Um, it's not quite daylight yet. It's, well, at least it's quite dull outside. So I've got the big light on again. I know it washes things out. I need to try and get a dim light I think from here although it's uh, useful for when I'm working in here <laughs> um, right so today I'm going to do or now I'm going to do my box two which is I to Q um, as I said in my video that I, uh, I uploaded this morning um, my boxes are now alphabetical order um, although they're not in alphabetical order in the box I know which box to go to for specific uh, whips though um, this box doesn't have quite as many things in it, but I'm still going to do it as a separate video. So this one will probably be shorter than the other two. Um, it's just I know there's a lot in my other box, so that will be a separate one that I might film later today. So um, I'm going to try and not open the packets too close to my microphone. I've got a microphone here on the on the table in front of me because um, I know there was a lot of noise on the last video. So I'll try and do them um, away from the table which is why I've sat slightly further back away from the table so I can do that right so let's go so first one in this box is Quiet Place by Puntini Puntini again this is one that I've started stitching and it's not a massive piece but yeah um, that's that's my progress on that one. I think there's a lot of leaves and as you can see I've started on the leaves and they're just little bits. I think there's only four stitches in each leaf. Yep, four stitches in each leaf. So yeah, a bit fiddly today. Yeah, there we go. So that's quiet place. Okay. And then my next one. Some, oh, the chart's in the bag because I use, I've got a working copy of it. This is The Language, Language of Love by The Drawn Thread. Um, I bought this from eBay and it had the beads and um, treasures and it came with a piece of fabric but it's not the cold bar fabric. No, that needs to go in the bag. And then... That is my progress on that. So it's a pale pink fabric and it, I think it's like a 28 count, something like that. So I'm not doing um, doing it according to the instructions using the um, number of threads. It's, uh, you know, I'm going off the coverage as to, to decide why, how many threads I'm doing for each thing. So there you go. That's the language of love by the drawn thread. And the next one is a very old one. Um, I don't have a picture for it. I started this when my children were young and it's still a whip. <laughs> this is Me First by DMC in the Country Companions um, collection. As you can see, it's not too far of a finish. It just needs the 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 rocking horse finishing off at the back, um, and then there's some back stitch that needs doing, and then that'll be a finish. And it'll need washing. It's been washed a couple of times already, but yeah. If I manage to get that finished, I'll frame it and give it to my grandchildren. And then the next one is. Oh, I don't need everything, I just need the cover. This is Olga by Plum Street Samplers. I showed Boris yesterday. This is Olga and the companion piece to it. This one's a cat. So, yeah. And that is what I've got done on that one. So, yeah. That's Olga by Plum Street Samplers. And 
and then the next one is Olivia Ockerleaf by Silver Creek Samplers. I do like the colours in this. I do I like autumn colours. So nice. This I know this is just a piece of grab bag fabric from Paul Stitches. It's an opalescent. Let's get a bit flatter. And that is what I've got done on that. Scarlet red and orange leaves from overhead that sparkle with a frosty glow. That's as much as I've done on the same. Yeah. There we go. And this one, this is still in its wrapper. I've not put this in a bag yet. This is Lovebird's Tree by Just Nan. There we go. I think I got this from Create Nostalgia when I went to the um, to the Wrexham retreat last year. And I know this is a fox and rabbit fabric. It might be Mayflower. There we go. That's as much as I got done. I think I did that when I came on from Wrexham. And I don't think it's been touched since. That's that. This one. This is Little Bits of Halloween from the Drawn Thread. And I'm stitching this. The square design. And that's what I've got done on that. And the next one, it's not long since I showed this one, is Letters from Nora R by Nora Carbett. Stitching this for my daughter. When it eventually gets done, and that's that's what I've got done on there. And this next one is in one of my own bags. Oops big thread on the bottom of it this is one of my own made bags so I know exactly what's in here and I would think some of you do too um when I find a picture there we are it's Lady of the Flag by Mirabilia Not stitched on this for a while. Used to be a regular stitch. And oh, hold those creases. Lady of the fun. <laughs> Let's get them. See if I can iron out those. View of those creases. Right across the fin middle of her head. There we go. That's a bit better. So yeah. There's Lady of the Flag. Into the, yeah. So, yeah. This I know this fabric is 32 count Hurricane Murano Regana by Pulse Stitches. <laughs> this one you saw in my last video. And it is Introverted by Silver Creek Samplers. And I know this is 32 count natural linen by DMC. And that was my progress. This is only started in November. 
Då, december. Just det, det är december. And then this next one you saw last time too. And this is Peace Tree by uh, Rosewood Manor. We've just fallen off. <laughs> there we go. So there, there's Peace Tree up to now. Those letters are backstitched in gold crinic to make them shine. Um, this fabric is 28 Kent Confederate Grey linen, I think. So yeah, that's Peace Tree. Another one you saw last time, I think. Um, this is I Am a Stitcher by Cherrywood Design Studios. Um, this is Paul Stitcher's Fabric, as what I can remember, I think it's called Morning Mist. And where are we? That's no other side. That's it. So there we go. So that's my progress on that. Come on, fold up. You know you want to. You don't want me to shove you in the bag. And this one, another one that's still in its in original bag for the pattern, is Midnight Watch by Blackbird Designs. This means I need to make some more project bags or buy some more project bags. Um, that's that's my progress on that one. There we go. This next one is Mermaid Fractor by Plum Street Samplers. My husband went back to work today, so I've been up since 5.30am. Um, I uploaded video one, I've stitched on my dragon, and it's only 9am. <laughs> so yeah, get back into the routine. This next one is um, Luke and Princess Leia from Dimensions in the Star Wars series. This was a kit I got a couple of Christmases ago, and I know I've only stitched on it once. <laughs> And it's on stitching on black and that's as much as I've got done. That's the start of Princess Leia. Yeah. That's that one. And then this next one. Ooh, this is being stitched on 36 count vintage country marker Edinburgh linen by Zweigart. And this is Pomegranate Santa by Plum Street Samplers. I love doing this. I just don't stick to it very much. And that's my progress. Mm. 
No, then, the, this is the first of a couple that I keep thinking I need to UFO because, yeah. And I, I either need to do that or find the chart on PDF so I can put it on Martha Pike's face. This is Noel by Mystic Stitch. I just love that picture. It's such a cute picture. But as, as I said, I was using just paper um to do it and that's all i got done such a cute design but yeah it needs it needs marker power xp and then it'll get proper work done on it but i did try and the cover is off because um i tried to scan in the chart uh, and put it on my marker power xp but it didn't didn't really work i couldn't get it working properly so yeah i need to Maybe have a look at if you can still get the chart and if you can get it as a PDF. Um, and then this next one is a uh, Heaven and Earth, but for some reason I don't have this as a PDF. I'm assuming I did have it somewhere. It might be on a hard drive somewhere. Um, but it's Plum Gothic, QS Plum Gothic by Heaven and Earth. Artwork by Karen Vinson. Again, I was using paper um, to stitch it, and I started this one out in the middle, and I've done a face. Not just a face, not far off my knee. Yeah. And this is being done on some Ada fabric. I think it's 16, 16 count. Yeah, it won't be in this one. The other heaven in this one will be in the other box. But yeah, there, there's three of them that I keep thinking I need to UFO them or sort them out. Right, this one is the Living with Charm series by Lizzie Kate. So it's it's that that I'm doing. Um, the full set. I've got all the, the cards for it. Um, I'm using DMC. Um, when I first started doing this, I didn't really do uh, hand dyed threads over dyed threads and that's what I've got done and I know I made a mistake I think it was on remember I made I made a mistake so it got left alone for a long time and then I finally got it out and sorted that out and then that's as much as I've done since so yeah that's what I need to work on <clears throat> This one, <laughs> I started stitching this for one of my grandchildren when my daughter was pregnant, whichever child it was, um, and it's not been stitched on. This is, um, that's still what it is, it's uh, Little Lamb Sleeping by the Drawn Thread, and that's all I've done. And I, I know it, it's, it's supposed to be done one over, one over two, and I've been, I did it on two over two. Uh, yeah, and it's on some. It's just some um, banding that I did it on. And all the threads are in there. See, look at all the threads. DMCs. But, yeah. There we go. And then this bag um, was sent to me by lovely lady in Texas. Uh, so yeah. And this has got my Queen Sari by Bella Filipina. And I love the colours than this one. And that is what I've got done on her. So, yeah. Is this fabric abyss? It might be. I think it is. It's um, Paul Stitches fabric. Pretty certain it's Abyss. And then this is one of Tracy's bags um, with foxes on it and birds and animals. So, yeah. Um, and this is Black Party Meow by Hands on Design. Um, 
that's what I've got stitched on there. This is Brilliant Beige. I think it's the it's the Colfile fabric and it's um, it's by Permin, so it's quite stiff. That one. And this next one is Peaceful Woodlands by Erica Michaels, and I'm doing the uh, sampler. And that's what I've got done. On the Beach by Charlotte. And this is another fox and rabbit fabric. That's what I've got done. is a, a bag um, um trying to think i think i don't can't remember who sent me this one i think somebody sent it now or is it one of tracy's i can't remember it's a christmas bag but i know it's not got a christmas design in it um because it is mermaid kisses by erica michaels this is being stitched on 40 count silk gauze that came with the chart and you see, you see I've just seen a thread in there. I'm very good at this. Sandcastle, Weeks Dye Works. See, so this one, a bit from behind it. That's what I've got done. Tiny, tiny stitches. You basically stitched it, you basically sewed the gauze onto fabric and then put it, you could put it in a hoop. So, yeah, tiny stitches. And then the next one is Princess Eliana by Mirabilia. I think it goes that way. I may be wrong. I think it goes that way. That's the progress I've done on that one. And then this is another bag that I made myself, a Spider-Man bag with a thread sticking out. <laughs> um, Spider-Man bag. And this one's got Jenny Bean's Friendship Sampler in it by Shakespeare's Peddler. And that's all I've done on that. Bigger than you think. When you look at the picture on the front, you don't think it's going to be as big as that. It's big. Right, get that thread inside. There we go. Right. And I've got just this one left. And this is an old Rain Robin. As you see a theme coming on here. Lots of Rain Robins in my whip boxes. This is a Mirabilia one that I did. And it only needs my piece on it. And there we go. So we've got that one there. And then there's those two there. Let's fold it down so you can see them better. Those two there that people stitch for me. Then and it, you could pick which ones you wanted people to stitch, but I just said just stitch what you like, um, and it was really good. Cause 
they're really really nice because you've got all the beads and everything and then this one's got this lovely charm here in the middle so yeah I just need to do one myself but then I might just make them into little hangings or something I don't think because I don't think I'm gonna do it that is box two done so yeah I've done box two so like I said there isn't as much in there but I think there's a few of my soul pieces that go in this box um so yeah so I think yeah so that's second video so just about half an hour so that's not so bad <laughs> next one will be a bit longer i'll film that one either later today or maybe tomorrow depends how things go so bye for now